welcome back to Hello Hi for another great cannabis recipe. When you clicked on this video, now was it the cherries, was it the pineapples, or was it the glaze, or was it all of the above? Now today, I have a very special treat for you like I always do. We are cooking many pineapple upside down cakes and we're using infused can of butter. So let's get started. This recipe you'll need pineapple slices, eggs, flour, light brown sugar, white sugar, pineapple juice, salt, baking powder, maraschino cherries, can of butter, and a jumbo muffin tin. Preheat the oven to 350 degrees. In a medium-sized mixing bowl, add two-thirds cup of light brown sugar and make sure you pack the sugar before adding it to the bowl and stir it a couple seconds with a spoon. Add four tablespoons of can of butter to the brown sugar and use a hand mixer to combine until it looks like this and then set the bowl aside. Now in a separate bowl, add two-thirds cup of flour, two-thirds cup of sugar, and you can definitely use your can of sugar if you want this recipe to be over the top. Add one teaspoon of baking powder, two large eggs, sprinkle a pinch of salt, and then add one last tablespoon of can of butter and four tablespoons of pineapple juice. Use the mixer to beat the batter until just combined. To make sure you don't overbeat the batter, stop mixing when the flour streaks disappear. And if you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and turn on those notifications. Before adding the ingredients, lightly spray the muffin tin to prevent the cake from sticking to the sides of the tin. Next, drop one tablespoon of brown sugar mixture in each muffin tin, and then go back and add more if you have some left over. Then lightly spread the brown sugar around each tin. Make sure you don't pack the sugar because it'll leave sugar clumps on the cakes when cooking and the cakes won't have the glazed texture. Start by adding the pineapple slices to the muffin pan. The pineapples will be too big, so break off a small piece of the pineapples to make sure they fit in a perfect circle. Continue to add each slice until the tin is full. It may be tempting, but don't get too much of that juice from the pineapples in the tin because the cakes will come out soggy. Next, lightly place a cherry on top of each pineapple slice and gently press each cherry down into each pineapple hole. Pour the batter over each pineapple and fill each tin three quarters of the way full. Make sure you go back and add any leftover batter until it looks like this. Now it's time to put those cakes in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes on 350 degrees. Now the cakes are out of the oven. Look at how golden those cakes look. Now when the cakes are done, you should be able to stick a toothpick or knife in the middle and when you can pull it out clean, then you know they're done. For the fun part, line a cookie sheet with the parchment paper and use a knife slightly to go around each cake to make sure it's not sticking to the sides. Then turn the cakes upside down on that cookie sheet and tap on the top of each muffin tin to loosen the cake. When they come out, the cakes should look like this. Now, how easy was that? Thank you for sticking around and watching this whole video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed showing you how to fix these pineapple upside down cakes. I hope you get a chance to make these, these pineapple upside down cakes for yourself. And you already know that I'm going to take a bite of one, a piece of one of them. And mm, these are so good. It's like it's melting in my mouth, but yeah. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and turn on no notifications. And I'll see you guys on my next video.